we live in this period when global wars have again become part of our fears. When we talk about disinformation and we talk about fake news, I think we should go back and try to understand how previous generations tried to understand what was going on in the world. My research is about academics and non-academics who did work on propaganda from the 1920s until the 1950s. They witnessed the rise of Nazism, communism, the McCarthy period, and it is essential that we go back and look at their work to understand what propaganda is, but also to understand our own field of international communication. Where do our ideas come from? Our methodologies? Why is it so that most researchers are still men? I wanted to research men who have been forgotten and I wanted to understand why they have been forgotten. I'm looking at people who come from different parts of the world, refugee scholars, second generation migrant scholars, men of practice. All these researchers were men. During the Second World War in the United States, when private foundations and governments worked together to study propaganda, women, they were coders, their role was secondary, they never got any acknowledgement for their work. The period is interesting because it happened before the field of international communication studies was founded, but we are still influenced by the work done so many decades ago. I borrow from two sociologists to help me analyse my materials, Karl Mannheim and Robert Merton. Karl Mannheim was a refugee scholar twice in his lifetime, and he wrote this very famous book about ideologies and utopias. He came here, I think, in 1933 or 34, and he was appointed as a lecturer. His work was never fully acknowledged at LSC, and he never got a chair here. Robert Merton has this concept of an insider and an outsider, and I have always been interested as an outsider myself what happens to outsiders and how academic generations, they decide who is forgotten and who is remembered. And refugee scholars, unfortunately, um, they often remain outsiders. If we look at the research done in the past, we can see things that we have forgotten, but actually, even in this period, we are so blinded by our own uh, ideologies and utopias, that it's very difficult to see the value of the work that happened um, several decades ago.